I'm unemployed. I'm disabled. I'm living with my mother. I have no income. If it weren't for my mother right now, Sally Mae would be calling me in a cardboard box on a street in San Francisco. And I still think if that were the case, Sally Mae would still want their money. It's a bottomless hole. You could throw $100 bills down this bottomless hole for the rest of your life, and it'll never fill up. And it appears to be completely designed that way. No other generation has had to face $20,000 in student loan debt out of the gate. Graduate students facing $42,000 out of the gate. Corporate irresponsibility is far more to blame than personal irresponsibility on this issue. Per year, I borrow about $25,000. Uh, well, I'm only a freshman, so I've only borrowed once, and I borrowed $10,000, which isn't that much for actually the school. A lot of people borrow between about ten and 25000 That's per year? Yeah, per year. I don't know a lot about how much I owe or what. Like, I know I pay, like, a little bit every month, and but, I, like, I'm terrible at keeping up on how much that is because, to me, it's really overwhelming. For federally guaranteed student loans, the Truth in Lending Act doesn't apply. So, typically, the students, upon graduation, can't even tell you what their interest rates are, whether their loans are federally guaranteed or not, or often, who their lender is, believe it or not. The Citibank Student Loan Corporation would send me these notices and they'd say, this is just to notify you of your interest rates. And then they started sending me one saying, this is just to notify you of a change in your interest rates. And it was like, it was like watching the odometer on a car. I remember thinking, what happened to the 9%? Where did the 17% come from? And seeing the number, uh, something like 900 something dollars a month for my private student loan. And immediately realizing that was more than I make in a month. The most recent estimate is that the amount of outstanding student loan debt in the country uh, is approaching $40 billion with a B. And that is only the federally guaranteed student defaulted student loan debt that is out there. We're not counting the private loans in that, which is probably uh, another 5 to $10 billion and growing quickly. The original loan amount was $45,974, and this last statement I received on December 16th, 2007, indicates that the outstanding balance is $73,789, so it has accrued uh, just shy of $30,000 in interest. If you look at it in the roundhouse, you're going to say, okay, it was $30,000 to go to UNR for three years. They now say that I owe about $90,000, so it's tripled. They can seize Social Security, they can seize tax refunds, they can garnish your wages. Like if I get hit crossing the street by a bus and I end up in a wheelchair, they can seize my disability. I would say to the graduating class of 2008, to very, very careful in deciding where to go to school and deciding how to borrow the money. And I would encourage them to be very careful about how involved they get their parents and to consider what would happen if their parents co-sign on these loans and they don't graduate, they don't finish their education, or they do finish their education and they default on their loans. We have to have doctors, we have to have lawyers, we have to have microbiologists, and we have to have newspaper reporters and public school teachers and professional photographers and all of that. And those are all jobs that, those are all careers that require a significant amount of education. Um, we're just going to get stupider <laughs> until there's a change. <laughs> we're just going to get dumber.